Welcome to Victorian Gardens Cattery. Today is May 28th and you're in Perry Winkles Nursery. The five Persians. Their father is our Victorian Lilac Paisley. He's a solid lilac. No CPC. He's not a CPC carrier, let's put it that way. Um, so these babies were born May 11th, and they are 17 days old, if I counted correctly. We've had a busy <clears throat> two weeks. <coughs> Excuse me. We've had a busy two weeks. It's going to be hard to... <clears throat> get good video and pictures of them <clears throat> because we have three blacks but if you look right there this is a black extreme face Persian she's the smallest of the litter right now Periwinkle <clears throat> has not been producing as much milk as she needs and she fights me on giving her supplements to help bring in more milk but I was able to get <clears throat> open up a capsule and get some powder down her <clears throat> excuse me so hopefully she will start producing more so <clears throat> Uh, Perry Winkle was didn't go into her um, delivery cage until two weeks before the babies were to be born. So she was on what everybody else is on the food. Um, I am loving you. And this litter was born um, very large. Um, she had five, actually, kittens. And we just lost um, a tortoiseshell. Um, I was not present at the tortoiseshell's birth. And when I found the tortoiseshell, she was gasping for air. So um, she died two days ago. I had been hand-feeding her, giving her antibiotics. But she just failed to thrive. So I think there was something that happened at delivery with her lungs. Um not quite sure because I wasn't there but um, she now has four and this little red boy here he's an absolute gorgeous doll um, he is one of the largest ever born I could not believe it when I put him on the scales he had a hard time coming out but she did um, get him out she always has really hard hard times at delivery but I gave her supplements. She fights me on the supplements. But I did give her supplements that seemed to really help with her contractions. And this was probably the easiest of her deliveries. <clears throat> he was born at a whopping 126.8 grams. And he's just a large, large boy. Um, he's a happy boy. He's an extreme face and he's very beautiful. I don't think that I'm going to be able to I hate to wake him up. Um, you can tell the difference right next to his sister, actually. Uh, the one next to his sister, I'm not sure who that is. Let me see here. Let me get in closer. It's going to be really hard because they're black coated. And cameras don't like black coats. Let's see who... Usually it is the doll face black. Yep. Those two are very close. The doll face black. They're, um, she's the second largest of the litter. And um, it's, those two are always sleeping together. This right here is the extreme. She's the smallest of the litter. I have to watch her weight because she gets pushed around. 
and then that one is an extreme almost like a borderline extreme right there on the nipple so I was um, able to get down one capsule so um, I used um, I've been using fenugreek um, to help bring on more milk but I she fights me so bad that I have not been using it for the last couple you know last week or so but um, I did get one down here and they all do this roly-poly stuff yeah and they all cry when I pick them up for some reason <laughs> they all are uh, they cry on the nipple because they're not getting enough food and then um, they all very much um, purr on the nipple and need dough. So I think this is going to be a very sweet litter, a, a litter of very sweet kittens. Yeah. They've been walking for a while now. Um, they were walking really early. Um, they were walking at 14 days old. Um, you know, you are, are, um, hurting him. But now your weight on him. If I can get her to look over here. There you are. There you are. All I want is milk, and she, that mom won't stay still. There she goes. Don't squish the babies, please. Periwinkle is just, I think Periwinkle's done with being a mom. I had to clean their butt the whole time. Still do. She'll do it occasionally, but it's like when it suits her. She's kind of, um, I have found through... Through the time period, she she's, tends to be, wants her own way, and she's going to do it her way, and um, she can be kind of um, determined, stubborn. So, I think she's, you know, she loves her babies, but she'll, she'll only go to a certain point. She, like, she won't clean their butts all the time. So, like, I, I put a new blanket down yesterday because I felt it wet because she had not been taking care of them um, and cleaning their butts. So, I'm going to start litter box training them very soon, probably in a day or two. Even though they're only 17 days old, I don't want to have any bad habits by her not doing what she's supposed to do. And them thinking they can just pee, pee, whenever they want, um, on the ground. So I'm gonna try that. I know the red boy's probably ready for it. He's big. Um, right now he's weighing 330 grams. I think if she had more milk, he'd be <laughs> weighing a whole lot more than that. He pushes them all off the nipples. I mean, he's very strong. He's very determined. He's a definitely a red. <laughs> and, uh, now watch it. Watch him. Watch him do his work. I can't. I can't watch that. Let me find him a nipple, so he doesn't push them off. He's huge. So he just pushed off. Someone. He just pushed off the smallest, the extreme face, black. Hopefully she can find another nipple. Yeah, I know you're hungry, baby. I don't know if you can hear all the purring.
Oh, she pushed off the other one. Oh, so there was no milk in that one. Or not enough to satisfy him, so he moved on. <laughs> oh, my. So hopefully this fenugreek, um, I don't know if that's how you say the word, but um, comes into play soon. She's on two different, one medicine and one um, supplement to try to help get more milk in. And I'll probably start weaning them soon. Um, at least he will get weaned soon. And that might help too. They're just, you know, he's just a big, big kitten. She's trying. Good girl. I like to see them try hard. You'll hear them crying on the nipple because the milk's not coming fast enough. Or it's running out. I don't think she's found a nipple yet. Yeah. There's no milk. They're trying. So I weigh them several times a day. I think I probably already said that. Just to make sure. And if, if one isn't gaining enough, I help supplement with KMR. Oh, she found a nipple. Yay. Underneath them all, though. I don't know if you can see how big he is in comparison to them. He's really big. So we'll say goodbye for now from Victorian Gardens Cattery and Periwinkle's Nursery. Periwinkle, we want you to cooperate, okay? And feed your babies. Bye for now.